Virgo, and welcome to Spiritual Wellness Tarot. I thank you for stopping by and letting me be part of your spiritual journey. Now, Virgo, are you curious to know who's been watching your every move and why? Well, get ready to have your mind blown as we unravel the mystery in today's reading. We're going to go ahead and pull an overall energy for this card, or for this reading, and then we'll start off with some tarot cards. All right, let's see what we have here. My voice is heard. Stand strong and communicate your message. The world is ready to receive what you have to share. And you know what? That might be right there why this person is watching you, right? Why are they secretly watching you? They know that, that you're strong, right? They know that people listen to you, and they might have the feelings that people don't listen to them, and they want to learn from you. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get some other, get some tarot cards out here for you. Now, for those of you who are new here, my name is Julie, and I am a psychic medium here on YouTube, and I use my psychic gifts to help encourage those who might be feeling a little bit lost or just need some, some insight into the future. Wow, look at, holy snap, we're rolling. Look at this, Virgo. All right, so we're starting off with the Chariot, then we've got the Knight of Swords, things are going to happen fast, and then the Justice card, time for some fairness. All right, so the Chariot, this person could go ahead and be moving into your area, right? Because the Chariot is about moving, right? It's about action, it's about taking a journey. Um, you know, could also be that this person is somebody that you're, that you're just meeting, um, you know, in a relationship. Maybe also the Chariot is about new a new vehicle, maybe you're buying a new car and and the person that is selling you this car um, might might kind of have a feeling towards you, right? They kind of might think that you might be a good friend or you might be a romantic love partner. Definitely an option. Now, we've got this Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Swords is all about a lifestyle change. Very strong person. Interesting how it comes next to the Chariot, right, about moving forward. This person could be moving into your life. They could be moving from a different state. Um, could be moving just, um, could be somebody that moves next door to you, right? Um, but somebody that that is um, coming into your life, they're gonna, it's gonna happen fast. So I would definitely keep your eyes open in the next week or two for somebody new that's coming in or somebody from an older relationship, an older business, maybe an old boss that is gonna come in and want, want you to help them, right? Want to maybe collaborate with you. Then we have the justice card here. That's all about equality and fairness. And realize that, yes, your voice is heard, Virgo. And so this is why this person wants to be involved with you, right? They want their voice to be heard. They want fairness. They want people to realize that they are somebody, right? That they have the strengths, but they just don't know how to go about it. Now, also, um, let's see, the, char the chariot is actually a cancer card, right? So it could be a cancer the Justice card is a Libra, so um, could possibly be a Libra also. Let's get some qualifiers here. Let's go ahead and um, clarify the Chariot, please, Angels and Spirit Guides. Go ahead and clarify this Chariot for Virgo. Who is secretly watching them, and why are they watching them? Now, remember to go ahead and watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising signs so you can get that overall energy, Virgo. All right, let's see what we have here. So we've got the moon. Look at these major arcanas. Holy crumb. We've got the four of swords. Whoops. Okay, so let's just do this. What the heck, right? Let's get you. Let's get you three cards on that one. All right. So, we're, so we've got the moon here with the chariot. And the moon is about trusting your intuition, right? It's also about dreams. And it, it's interesting that this that the four of swords went came right came out right next to the moon, right? About dreaming, about about your intuition, right? And it could be that this person, I mean, if this is a love relationship, you know, or if they want to become a friend and become stronger than a friend, it could be that this person is actually even dreaming about you, right? They, um, they're resting, they're realizing that this, you are, Virgo, the person that they are going to go ahead and be committed to, right? And, and necessarily, not necessarily, love, right? It could be a, a work relationship. So we'll just kind of follow through with that. Then over here on the Justice card, we have got the Page of Wands. We've got the Leo Strength card, which has been coming out a lot. And we have the Three of Swords. So we've got the Page of Wands, which is about 
you know, a new project, being creative, being that active kid. The strength card is all about commanding, commanding strength, right? Commanding self-respect, commanding love. And interesting that you've got my voice is heard, right? This is what's going on. This person doesn't feel like they're being heard, right? They, they're, they just don't know how to go about feeling heard maybe. And that's what they want you to teach them if this is like in a, in a business friend relationship. And then we've got the Three of Swords, which the Three of Swords is about depressing, right? It's um, a depression. They're a little, a little confused, but I wouldn't worry too much about, about the Three of Swords. You know, they might be depressed because nobody is listening to them, right? They're, they're getting a little confused. They're getting mixed signals. And, you know, they're watching you. They're watching you come out of your shell, right? Come out of your, come out of your cocoon. They're watching you just become strong, stand strong, just like this, just like the strength card, right? And they want to be like you, Virgo. They want to be, I get, I don't feel that this is a love relationship. I really feel like this is an old friend that is coming back into your life, um, you know, because they've been watching you over the years. You know, maybe you've been going through some stuff, Virgo, but you have, you have risen up, right? You have become stronger, Get some other clerical uh, clarifying cards here for this. Let's see what we have here. I love your enthusiasm and energy. So this person, you know, this person that is moving forward, moving towards you, and it could be, you know, maybe they're not even physically moving, but with this chariot card and with the with the um, Knight of Swords, it might be that they're just moving towards you, right? They're going to connect up with you through um, through Instagram, through Facebook, through whatever whatever platform you have. Let's get another card here for the Four of Swords. Um, I am grateful for the love and affection you show me. So this could be an an, an old an old person, or not an old person, but an old, a person that you knew from the past. Let's, let's spit it out here. <laughs> so you know, again, I'm I'm not feeling that this is love for some reason. Um, you know, the feeling that I'm getting is that this is an old friend that's going to come back into your life. Um, it might be just even from, from elementary school or from, from junior high school that this friend is from, right? But they, they know and they've been watching you. They've been secretly watching your page to see what's been going on and how you have been attracting the goodness in your life, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. I am grateful for your generosity and kindness. So this person is, you know, it might be that you are giving out some tips to people, right? Uh, might, maybe you're, you're involved with helping people move forward out of a situation or something. Or, you know what, if this is a business reading for you, it might be an old boss that you used to work for, and they have a special project and they want you to move forward. They want you to go ahead and take over this project because they know that you are strong enough. You are full of common sense, right, Virgo? And that's how you that's how you work. And with this project, they might need somebody that is common sense. And you know, since since we've got the chariot card here, could be that they're ready to go ahead and and offer you this position. Great reading, definitely a great reading. Let's check out who the characteristics or what the characteristics is of this person, Virgo. And Virgo, remember, I'm, I know what I already may have said this, but I'm gonna say it again, to watch your sun, moon, and rising signs so you can get that overall energy for yourself. And if this reading does resonate with you, I would truly appreciate if you'd hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Um, you know, it, it helps me to see what's going on with, with the collective here and also lets YouTube know to push me out into that algorithm. All right, so the first one is friend. Okay, what did we talk about? It could be an old friend from, from maybe even, you know, elementary, junior, high school, depending on how you are, old you are. It could be high school, college, but it is a, it could be an old friend that is coming within your life. Um, may have piercings. This person may have some piercings. Does this start to sound... Um, like somebody you know, I'd love to know in the comments. Blue eyes. Perfect, right? So now you're going to go around and check all those blue eyes, right? <laughs> all those people that have blue eyes. Let's see what else we have. Oh, could possibly have brown eyes also. And is an introvert. So that totally explains what's going on here, right? Especially with this depression card. 
if they are an introvert, they're having a really hard time coming out, right? Because remember our overall energy here. I hope if I can get it picked up here. Oh, geez, cramity. Now I made a total mess, but that's okay. That your voice is heard, right? And they don't know how to make their voice heard. So they're watching you, Virgo. They want to learn from you. And that's why I'm thinking this might, might not be a love relationship that we're talking about. Definitely, um, you know, a friendship relationship or even a business relationship. But this person, um, you know, this person could go ahead and be um, an introvert and they're just watching you, right? They're just seeing exactly how you do things, you know. My mom used to say that, that um, you know, because like if people would, if people would like copy me. Like I got a dog when I was in seventh grade. I, my parents bought me a dog. And my best friend, I'll be doggone if, she, if her parents didn't all of a sudden buy her a dog. Same type of dog that I got, right? Like two months later. It's like, dang it. But my mom reminded me that, that when people copy you, it should be taken as flattery because they think that you are better than them, right? So take it as a flattery. Don't get too harsh, but also just keep your eyes open, right? I love this reading. Let me know if this does resonate with you, if this, you know, if the characteristics, if you know who this person is, really would love to know that. But until next time, Virgo, I love you all. Namaste.